Well, well, hello everyone. We are back on the multiplayer server. This is Stevio signing in. Gotta eat my Wheaties, Brett Favre. Oh yeah. Yep. Let's make sure Gina and Max has their Wheaties, their dog food. Where's Max at, girl? Hmm? There you go, Gina. Max is always liking to run away. I'm always worried he might get run over or something. That dog, I just can't keep him around this area. So you guys might notice a few new trucks here. If you remember a few days ago, yeah, I kind of totaled my uh, Denali. And everyone reminded me, I don't have a Ram on the farm. So as you know, I went shopping for some Rams. I did actually find a few more. Uh, this Ram was highly requested right here with this Cummins, with the service bed on the back. I really want some type of service truck because I kind of need one with all the stuff going on. Oh, finally, the sun came up there. It was a little early in the morning for me. So I really want a service truck for the farmyard. I got a few options here. The dealer was is really trying to suck me in. They really want me, so they let me demo all three trucks you have to let me know which truck you like the most I'm kind of digging this this is a good old looking truck I really like the grill there so this has a service bed kind of a flat bed has an air compressor has a torch on the back has a Yeti cooler and a welder or we could just go with a regular service bed kind of has tool bags on the, on the side here has a toolbox and a small little air compressor on the side. I don't know if that'll be enough. I'm really looking for a service truck of some kind because uh, if you know, me and Farm Boy just break down all the time. This thing is by far, I think, the coolest with the blackout look, the orange, the lighting, and too, this has LEDs like all over it. So if you ever break down at night, you got every light possible shining because that's one of the hardest things to do. Ooh. Speaking of somebody, somebody is trading in their tractor. The old uh, 8410 is uh, being uh, upgraded by Farm Boy here. He's got the 8420T, I believe. So that isn't the only tractor going away here. Yep, yep, the Case tractor, it's leaving with the John Deere. I hope they have them strapped down. It kind of looks, doesn't really look like a great load right there. Yeah, I think Farm Boy might have upgraded a little bit. It's still an older tractor, but uh, hey, I kind of like it. On the agenda today is we need to get all of our spring tillage ready to go. It is getting that time, boys and girls. Yes, it is. It's that smell in the air. I need to smell that dirt. Dirt. I want to smell it. Oh, I forgot to tell you. I bought Lil Blue here. Lil Blue is a T4 with a total of 55 horses. I know Lil Blue has some miles on her. She has some wear and tear. She was she was neglected by her last owner, but that doesn't make her any better. I'm hoping I can use all of her 55 horses to pour some of our spring tillage out, start greasing it, getting it ready. Because, uh, why start up the big horse powers when you could just have the little girl here? A little blue. You guys are probably all saying, why in the heck did you get rid of your uh, red Steiger there? And it's probably because of this. So the bank wanted me to sell it because, you know, I went on a pretty big buying spree. And it wasn't just the bank. I kind of wanted to... Uh, downgrade a little bit because I just fell in love with all my old uh, articulating high horsepower beast. We got the repower here, the Kinsey repowered 8850. We got the another 8650, 
dual motor. Of course, we got the beautiful 320 Steiger Turbo Tiger 2. Look at that big engine in there. Look at that turbo. Yeah, I can't wait to get this thing out in the field. All these were just too nostalgic to uh, let go. I am going to use them in the field. If you know, I've kind of turned into a rare tractor collector here on this farm. I started out with the, you know, the 4450. Now I'm going with the high horsepowers here. You know, I did buy a dairy farm, so I need to run up there and milk and feed them cattle here pretty quick. We're uh, getting ready for some tillage. I'm just so excited. Oh man, I didn't really even see clouds in the sky. It is raining. Oh man, I don't know if we're going to be able to get into the field. Poor little blue is pushing so hard to get this thing over here. Come on, little blue. You can do it. You can do it, little blue. This thing does weigh a lot just so it can force all the discs down into the ground. Blue is struggling to get it up this mound here. Oh, what? Holy cow. It's my old redneck friend Fred here showing up. I did not know he was in the area. Holy cow, what did he bring today? Looks like he brought his toys today. Holy cow. Well, isn't this a sight for sore eyes? My old redneck friend Fri was he, did he know something I did not know? He looked like he brought all his uh, mudding equipment here. So apparently he wants to go out, play in the mud a little bit. I think, I, I'm pretty sure the fields are still a little bit too wet. Fred, he really wants to go out there and play. So I guess let's get his toys out here and unload it. He wants to play with these toys and he wants to play with some of our own toys. Hopefully we'll get to that later. Fred is crazy. I don't know. He's he's an old uh, he's an old high school friend. So I just have to. Uh, I don't know. I know it's gonna tear up my fields, but why not? You only live once. All right. I got. He's got his hunting mobile there. That thing is a beast. Let's have some fun in the mud. Oh. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. This is some deep stuff. Whoa, whoa, Fred. Fred, watch out, Fred. Oh, yeah. Now, this is some fun stuff here. Fred trying to chase me down or something, I guess. Maybe I need to turn the lights on so he can see me. Oh, yeah, this thing is bogged down. I think I'm going to have to tell Fred we're going to have to soup this Can-Am up a little bit needs some horsepower. It needs to be revving up right now. Maybe put some mutters on this thing. It does kind of look like we are losing a lot of power here. Alright. Well, it's Fred coming. He's still playing out there. Okay, yep. This thing is... A wreck. Man, this thing is a beast. It has a three-point hitch on it. No way. Oh, man. It's the Beast 1000. I was just calling it that. I didn't know it was actually, that was its name. Wow, pretty cool. Fred said he uses this for hunting. Look at them uh, lights on the top. Yeah, you could definitely do some coyote hunting right there. Yep. We used to do this all the time back in the farm. You know, when uh, one of our cows passed away or something like that, we pull them out into an open field, leave them there for a few nights, and then come late at night, be as quiet as we can, get a whole bunch of bright lights like this, and uh, wait in the middle of the night, just put them all, turn them all on, be ready. Yep, you'll see tons of coyotes out there. Fred wants to take 
his trucks out. I have really, I really like this heavy duty truck here. His Cummins. The Yeti Mr. Clean, huh? Cummins. It's got a mega cab on it. Look at the jaws in there. I just have to see what suspension. It does have a lift on it. It looks like it's probably eight, maybe at least a six inch lift. Got torque bars on there. Got the lights in this thing. Let's see how this thing goes over the suspension on this thing is. Listen to that big turbo purr. This thing's got some nice suspension. Oh, it's got a little roll though. Yep, might need to tighten up that uh, lift there a little bit, Fred. Whoa, 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 yep. Gonna have to work on the shocks so. though. Fred's gonna take his uh, 1980 Ford truck there. Thing's a beast out mud too. Oh man, this this field is gonna be so bumpy when we start plowing it, planting. We're gonna have to go over another pass, but I don't know, I just have to do this. Holy cow, I got this old girl mudded up quick. Oh, 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 almost had a collision there. Watch out, I can't even see out of my window there, Fred. You gotta watch out for me. Oh yeah, can't get this girl stuck. I'm trying to get up to some speed here so we can do a little uh, donuts, but I can't get up. It just won't let me get to any speed. All I'm doing is slipping. I'm coming, Fred. Okay, got her a little muddy. All right. Got Fred's toys all muddy. Fred has been begging, begging, pleading with me that we get to do some mudding in the old tractors. He wants to take some of our big 4x4s out here, do a little mud. I don't know if I like this or not. This might be a bad idea. Fred wants to take a few of these out. Now we just have to pick which ones. And this is a hard decision. Thinking I'm gonna take the repower out. Fred wants to take the Steiger, the beast here. Uh, I think we'll keep the double engines in the shed for now at least. We're gonna take the beast out, do a little mud. All right, there goes Fred. All right, we got the Kinsey. The repowered here. Ooh, I just love the way this thing sounds. I don't know. Which one do you think? The Steiger or the Kinsey's repower sounds better? It's a hard decision right there. Real hard decision. Alright, where are you going, Fred? Can't wreck these things. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, Oh, this girl weighs too much. Get nowhere. Oh, she's stuck. Look at her throw mud everywhere. Not today, folks. Oh, no. Uh-oh. We didn't get very far today. Guess she's just too heavy for this. All right. Don't tell Farm Boy. But I think I'm going to take his... Uh, his new tractor out hopefully pull it out I've heard as long as you stay straight with these t-series tracks here double track tractors here that you're good once you start turning and everything you're done oh yeah you guys are probably all wondering what is this sitting here so uh, I did contract somebody to make some uh, terraces in one of our fields or new fields here this is uh, his his DT cat big monster here looks like Fred came back here to help us pull out 
guess the Steiger won this round. All right, grab the chain. Yeah, look at that fan. It definitely doesn't like this. We are sinking here. We're getting somewhere, though. All right, All right, we gotta pull straight. Hopefully we get up on this incline here a little bit and uh, it'll be better for us. All right, all right. Come on, Fred. Pull out. Here we go. We're getting her. Oh, oh, oh. Come on. We can get her. We can get her. Keep coming, Fred. Oh, can you believe this? Track saved the day here. All right, Fred convinced us that we have to try because this thing has so much uh, pulling power. Try tillage. Wow. It's pulling this five shank here. We are probably making a mess of this field, but it's pulling her. All right. So uh, we have a, a few beverages, and we kind of got pretty crazy out here. Yep. We got real crazy out here with all these tractors. Ooh, yep, rednecks sure do know how to have fun. Now, I don't understand how we're gonna get all these out. Uh, I did try to pull out Farm Boy's uh, track tractor here, his T-Series, out with the Steiger, got that stuck. Uh, after I got the Kinsey uh, repowered here stuck. And uh, we had to take the Cummins out just to see what they could do. Everything is stuck. The last ditch, the last thing we have to pull all these things out is the bulldozer here. Let's get the cat started up here. If this can't get it out, then uh, we are SOL. But thank you all for watching, and I will see you next time over here in Iowa. Later, y'all. Make sure like, share, and subscribe. Uh-oh, don't get stuck here. Don't get stuck. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, if I get this thing stuck, I think the owner's going to be a little peeled.